Hey guys, Jenny here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to another Copycat Friday. And as you probably noticed, the last two weeks we are doing some kind of superpower team. And this week, guess it or not, is the next superpower. Superhuman strength. However, we kept it rather simple this week, but still super cool. Because we are preparing for a huge live stream Jordi is going to do this Saturday. If you want to know more about it and set a reminder for it, go to the description below and find a link for it. Now while doing research, we of course found all the super powerful heroes that can lift anything they want. For example, the Hulk who can throw cars around like they were toys. But we also came across a lot of videos with real people with real super strength. Like this Brazilian Hulk man who just casually lifts up a car. And of course you also have heard the stories about people saving others who got stuck under something heavy in a life or death situation. Well, this was all inspiration for our superhuman strength effect. For our effect we're going to work with a simple practical technique that uses perspective changes to make it feel real. Now what do we need? Well, a slider and a tripod. And of course a camera. And also a car. Now mount your camera on the tripod and mount it in such a way that you can use the slider to go up and down. Set this whole construction on the spot you want to film, then lock the slider on the highest point and start recording. The first shot is going to be the actor without a car. Make her framing so that there is enough room for the whole car in front of the actor. Let him do its thing and on some point he can act like he picks up the car. Try to time his movement because we're going to match that to the movement of the car. When you have the shot, keep the actor stand on a spot and now it's time for the car. Find somebody very responsible and let them drive really slow and safely towards the actor and in the right spot. And guys, be really safe. I mean this, don't do this without a driving license. The actor can leave now and then it's time for the shot of the car. However, first we are going to place a green screen behind the car. We do this to avoid the weird shifting backgrounds and the end effect. Okay. Let's make the shot now. Unlock the slider and move your camera from up to down. Again time it and try to do the up and down movement in the same time as your actor did his movement. This will create the perspective change we need to pull off the effect. And that's it. Time for post-production. But first, it's time to thank our sponsor Storyblocks Video, an online library that keeps on expanding. Their wide variety of stock clips in HD and 4K are perfect for every project. They can help you with your short movie if you are missing a shot or with your documentary when you need a close up of a pesky fly who doesn't want to sit still. In other words, Storyblocks Video is a must have filmmaking tool. They offer everything we need from overlays to transitions to after effects templates that are easy to customize. You name it, they have it. Even stock video collections so you can find certain themes faster and more extensive. And the best thing about Storyblocks Video is the fact that you only have to pay one single price per year for unlimited downloads. So if you want to start downloading right away, go to the first link in the description below. Now post-production, let's place the actor clip in a new composition. Then it's time for the car clip. Just put it on top of the actor. Now the first thing you can do is pre-comp the car layer and open up that pre-comp. Once inside, we are going to stabilize that shot so the car remains on the spot he is now. Select the stabilize motion option in the tracker panel, enable the rotation and the scale for the tracking options, and now you will have two tracking points. Set them both on a recognizable place and then start tracking. Once done, you can simply apply the tracking and boom, your car is fixed in its location. Now it's time to mask out the car. Make a detailed mask around it and of course animate it for the entire length of the clip. This will leave you with a stabilized car without a background. Just what we need. Now last key out the green and you can close the pre-comp composition and head back to the original composition. Now we need to align the movement of the car with the actor. So look for the point where your car starts to change perspective and align that with the point where your actor starts lifting. Before we can animate the car, we first need to place the anchor point just underneath the front wheel. Set keyframes for the position and rotation of the car clip on the spot where the two clips align. Then go further in time and look for the point where the actor stops lifting. This is our cue for the animation of the car, so let's rotate it. You probably also need to animate the position so the car always stays in your actor's hands. Look at that! We're already lifting up the car. But of course we are missing some details. Like the shadow. But we can easily fix that. Just duplicate the actor layer. Now with the Lumetri effect we are going to make the clip darker and then let's mask out the shadow. 
You can always use the real shadow as a reference for the mask, but also for the color of the shadow and the darkness. Once you have masked out your shadow in the beginning, we also need to animate it towards the end of course. This however is going to be a guessing game, because we don't exactly know how the shadow will distort. So I think that the shadow will go a little bit inward and also becomes more soft when lifting up the car. So change your mask to your likings and try to match the animation to your light source placement. Which is going to be different for everybody. Okay, the last details, the wheels. The front wheel of course needs to stand still all the time. So duplicate the car shot and remove the rotation keyframes. On the car duplicate we are going to draw a small mask around the wheel and we're also going to freeze frame the clip on the point where the first position keyframe is. A second thing we can do for the wheels is let the back wheel drop a little so you get the feeling of a real car suspension. Again duplicate the car clip and of course you can name every duplicate to keep your workspace clean. Now on the back wheel clip we are going to draw a mask around the tire. Once done we can copy the mask and paste it to the original car clip. However, we do need to set the mask from add to subtract. This way the back wheel is removed from the original clip. Now you can animate the position of the back wheel clip, so that it drops a little when lifting the car. But you will probably notice a gap between the wheel and the car. An easy fix. Just create a solid layer and with the color selector select a dark color from the wheel case. Now place the solid underneath the car clip and go to the point where we start with lifting up the car. Here we can draw a rough mask in the shape of the wheel case and then just parent the solid layer to the original car clip and BOOM! The gap is gone and the effect is finished. Hey Lorenzo, what are you doing? My car is making a super weird noise and I have no idea what it is. Let me help you. What do you mean you're gonna help me? Just wait and see Lorenzo, but maybe just move a little bit, just to be safe. Oh, it's quite heavy. Lorenzo, get beneath it. Okay, give me a second. Do you see something? I think I, yeah, 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 here it is. It's a, it's a dead cat. A cat? You killed Jordy's cat? No, Jill, this type of dead cat. That leaves us with Janik's Fun Fact Fountain! Did you know there's a world record for most nails hammered with a human hat? You heard me, a human hat. Well, apparently John Ferrero has such a strong skull, he can hammer nails in wood with his hat. And to be precise, he can hammer 38 nails in two minutes. That's one record I won't break. Or at least I don't want to break. And that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Storyblocks video for the support. And like always, stay creative. Guys, there's a fly here. There's a fly flying around here. I need to kill him. <laughs>